Hello everyone, welcome to our first computing lesson. So in computing at the moment we're going to be looking at typing and we're going to be looking at something called touch typing which I'll introduce you to in a little bit. But before we get going, I want to start with a little bit of a question. So a question of what is typing? So what do we think typing is? Now unfortunately you can't answer me so I want you to have a little bit of a think and then I'll tell you the answer. I'm sure you all well, most of you know what typing is or can explain it because it's something we see all the time. So typing is an action or skill of writing something by means of a typewriter or a computer. Normally on a computer these days, isn't it? Um, but it's using one of these, a keyboard to type, to write, okay? And to write something onto a computer. Okay, and that is what typing is. So if you can think of now, you have a little bit of think. There's so many times when you see people typing and you see people type in constantly, don't you? Um, and it's something that is part of a lot of people's people's jobs or it's something that is really important in schools, perhaps, that we do all the time. Because, for example, to make this lesson, I had to do a little bit of typing to be able to put this together for you all. So, do we think typing is an important skill? So, important. Do we think it's something that we need? That's what we mean by important. So is it an important skill, a skill that we all need? Do we still need it? Or are things changing now in the world? But is it perhaps typing not as important as it used to be? Hmm, an interesting thought. So do we think typing is really still important? Or do we think less important now? So yes or no. You might want to pause this video and if you've got anyone around you, you could ask and you could talk to, you can maybe have a little bit of conversation about them and about typing and whether or not they use typing quite a bit or whether or not they think it's quite important. So if you had a little bit of a think now, I'm sure you've all decided that typing is important, okay? Typing is something we do all the time. We spend so much of our lives on computers, whether that be computers to do work, for example, for me now, typing on a computer as a part of your job, or whether or not we spend time on computers because we are online, perhaps we're on social media and we're writing onto social media sites. Perhaps we are just are using Word when we were making something for someone and we're using Word and we're typing that way. So we spend so much of our time now on computers. In fact, I bet all of you spend some time every day on computers, whether that be on a laptop or a computer um, in your house or whether that be on a phone or an iPad. We're always on computers these days. We spend so much of our time on them. And computers are also important because we use them to communicate. We talked about that when we did our networks lesson, didn't we, about how commun computers communicate with each other. And so another important reason why typing is so important is because by typing, we can communicate with other people. It's a form of communication, just like letters are. And it's different to a letter because it's typed, but it is still communication. And in fact, um, for me now, I've been in communication with people at school and that has all been done through my computer, through typing and sending them emails and messages that way. So it is incredibly important. Um, you need to be able to type to tell a computer what you want. And that sounds a bit strange, but we mean like when you start looking at coding, which we'll look at later on this year, when we look at coding, we need to be able to type to code um, because that's what code is. It's, it's typed. So we need to think about when we think about that, we realise how important typing is. It also saves you time. If you've ever handwritten something and then you've typed it, it is quicker to type. Now, for some of you, you might not find that yet. You might find you find it quicker and easier to handwrite than you do to type. And that's because you probably haven't spent as much time practising as, for example, I might have. But for me, as an adult, as someone who has spent a lot of my life typing, who's grown up typing and has practiced it quite a bit. Typing does save me a lot of time if I want to do work or anything online. Typing saves me so much time. And um, I can't imagine if I had to handwrite everything for all of these slip charts, it would take me so much time. And we all know Miss Farrell's handwriting is not always the neatest. So that would be very difficult for me. So yeah, typing is incredibly important. And even though things are changing now, it is still a skill that is needed in most careers. I think if you have a think now, you think of any career that you perhaps want to do when you're older, 
I imagine in any career there is some element of typing that is required for it. It's just one of those life skills that you need. You need to be able to do it just like you need to be able to handwrite something or you need to be able to spell words correctly. It's a really important life skill. And it's something we have to get better at because it helps us so much when we get older. Okay, so let's move on. So I've got you a few facts now on typing. So on the left hand side, this is the fastest typer in the world. The fastest typer for the English language you can type 216 words per minute. So in 60 seconds, they can type 216 words per minute. I definitely can't do that. I don't think I can do anywhere close to that. I might have to have a practice soon. So then it says boys versus girls. And it says statistics show that boys practice typing less than girls. So girls practice typing a lot more. But interestingly, um, boys can type 44 words per minute at the age of sort of 11 to 12. They, they type 44 words per minute. And the average girl um, types 37 words per minute. So that's interesting that there's a slight difference there. But oh, I think us girls, we need to practice a little bit more because we need to beat them. <laughs> we can't have the boys win everything, can we? Um, so there's a few little facts there. And then this side, it says, typically the average typing speed of boys at 12 years old is 44 words per minute. Average typing speed for girls of the same age is 37 words per minute. Additionally, the average professional typist, I mean, someone who's getting paid to type, um, they typically type at speeds ranging from 65 to 75 words per minute, which is kind of interesting when you think about it, because it's not actually that different to... These ones, it's not much higher than 44, really. It's less than double it. So I reckon if you practice really hard, we could definitely get our typing speeds up to 44, 50. And actually, that's, I think that would be a really good speed, wouldn't it? 50 words per minute, I think, would be excellent, actually. So we're going to learn a little bit about touch typing today. So touch typing is a method of typing without the use of sense of sight or simply by feeling the keyboard. So when we touch type, we don't look at the keyboard. We touch type without looking at the keyboard. And it is something that is pretty tricky. Okay. And it's something that will feel really strange at first as you start doing it. But the more you do it, the easier it comes. Like everything with practice, it gets easier and easier. So there is an activity to do. And if you go now onto the school website, so you can pause this video in a second, go onto the school website and there is a document um, there for your computing lesson one for typing. And it's got all the links you will need for the activities. So go and find that document and get the links ready to so do that now. Okay, hopefully you've got the links now ready to be able to do this. So this is on... BBC Bite Size, and it's a little activity, a little game that you can play. So level one is starting with the home row. So it's going to teach you the home row. And the home row, it's where your hands need to stay most of the time. So it's where your hands need to be most of the time. Um, and the home row is letters F, D, S, A, J, K, L, semicolon, G, and H. I want to give you a second now, and I want you to look at the keyboard that is in front of you, and I want you to find out where they are. And see if you can work out why that might be the home row. So have a look at your keyboard now. Okay. So have you noticed something? Have you noticed that those keys are all in the middle of your keyboard? And that's why it's the home row, because it's the easiest and quickest place to put your hands to be able to find all the other keys. So when we're touch typing, our hands are going to stay, or our fingers are going to stay, sorry, on that row, on the home row. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the activity. And um, then you're going to have a little go at it. Okay, then. So if you follow the link that is on the document you have from the school website, you should come onto this page here. And this page is Dance Mat Typing. Okay, so on this page has all the links to the activities that you might need to use. Um, so we're going to start with level one. So level one, in this level, you're going to learn to type the, the keys on the home row as well as the letters E, I, R and U. Now, if you have a look on your keyboard now, you'll notice that E, I, R and U are above that home row. OK, so we're going to be learning the home row and then a few keys are above it. So to play the game, you just press play level. OK, so this is this. It'll open up like this and you want to play it number one first, the home row. OK, so it says you need a keyboard. So if you haven't got a keyboard, you're not going to be able to do this. So you need to make sure you've got a keyboard. You've got a laptop or a computer that has a keyboard. OK. So, let's start the game. Hi there, the rock activity. and rollers. We're going to have us a blast. Got those tapping feet on the ground? 
Then we're ready to rock and roll. Follow Gary's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the records on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. First, kids, find me two keys, F and J, each with a bump. OK, so you need to find F and J Left with your... point and finger on the F. Index Type finger. F. So index finger on the F, OK? And you'll find that the F has a little bump on it, and that's so you can find it easily. And then you need to type right the point and finger on the J. So your index finger from your right, you're going to type your J. Now, rest your other fingers next door <laughs> on the home row keys. So Left hand your other fingers, fingers on next F, door. D, S and A. Right hand fingers on J, K, L and the semicolon. So this might feel a little bit unnatural, Groovy. but try and hold now your fingers in those positions. These letters in a row. OK, I'm going to have a little bit of a go of it before I set you off. Play next. <sighs> Oops. It's very difficult when you're not looking, isn't it? I wonder whether or not you guys can do better than I can. Now yeah. for the space bar, use either of your thumbs, your thumbs. to make a space. Go on, have a go. Make a space. <laughs> well, kid, this is your big moment. See if you can type all these words with the correct fingers. Whoops. So you're going to have a go at writing these letters. Me next. Oops. <laughs> I wonder whether or not you guys can do this without making any mistakes. I'm Houston, sure you can. We have lift up. So you're going to go through this and it will go on to different levels, okay? And it will get more tricky. And you can see on the bottom, if you look at the bottom of the screen here, it will show you how far through you are. So at the moment, we're working on, um, we're working on the home row. Me next. Okay. It's so hot at this. I'm gonna turn up the heat. Okay. Right, hot rodders. Look at the two other letters on the middle row, G and H. Using your left hand pointing finger, hit that G. Same as you do the F, don't okay. flip now. So your index Pick finger. H with the same snapping finger you use for J. So your index right fingers need to do both. Finger. So you need to do the... <laughs> they need to go on to the H as well. Ain't it easy as rock can be? Okay, so you're going to work... Can you hit... So you're going to work through the home row. Once you've gone all the way through the home row, all the way to the end of that activity, you can then click on this one, which is the E and the I. OK, so you're going to move on to the E and the I. And again, it's just another activity that you can do on here. Ciao, bambini. My name is Calla Marie, and this is my octopad. Follow Calla Marie's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the shells on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. Let's uh, practice what we've learned so far. Tentacles are poised. And with our eight digits on the thumb row, we sing a la scala. So then we're going to have a go at this one. Oh, I cheated there. Did you see me cheat? I couldn't help but look down. Great to start. Okay, so you're just going to work your way through this one again. So once you finish the first one, you're going to have a look at through here. Me next. Um, and you're just going to work through all the different activities. On the bottom, it tells you how far through you are. So you're going to say, when you've typed a line, it opens up your shell like that, so you know you've done it. And you're just going to work your way through. Once you've done all of that, then you can have a go if you feel very confident at this one, which is the R and the U. Hello, chicken. I'm your next typing partner. Lucky old you, eh? Come on in and meet the family. Follow Ray's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the eggs on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. So again, you look at the bottom and when the eggs open up, that First, knows you've done it. I need it. to check that your fingers are on the home row. 
pointing fingers on the Three F fingers, and the J, F and J, and line where up the bumps your are. Fingers, so they're all roosting. You can on see the it's color coded as well. So the ones that you're supposed to be hitting with your index finger on this left hand side, they're blue. See the F, the R, and the J, the G, sorry, are all in blue. So you're going to do with your left index finger. Your right index finger is going to do the H, the U, and the J. Your middle finger is going to do the D and the E. Your ring finger is going to do the S, and then your pinky is going to do the A. And then on the same on this side, your pinky does the semicolon. Your um, ring finger on your right hand side that does the L, so that's your fourth finger. Um, and then the K, your middle finger does the K and the I. Okay, so you just use the right fingers for each one. So you need to look at the colors to help you out. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance now to have a go at those activities. So you need to do the first one level one and you've got these three different activities in level one to complete so can you please have a go at that now and then we will join back up to do the next bit okay then so once you have finished the first activity and you've done level one we're going to look at level two now level two is the six keys above the home row so you've got the home row where your f and your j is and we're going to then look at the row above it which is um the ones we're going to be learning now. So you'd be going to look at the letters T, Y, W, O, Q, and P. So stage four will be T and the Y. So T and the Y is in the middle of your keyboard. So if you find T and the Y that in the middle, just above the G and the H, okay? So they're going to be your index fingers that are going to be finding those ones. You then got your W and your O. Now your W and O is above the A. I've got a feeling it's going to be your ring fingers that are going to be doing the W and the O. And then you've got the Q and the P, so the Q and the P, which you'll again, I think will be your pinkies, okay? So your Q and P's will be your pinky fingers. So we're gonna have a look at that one now. So I'm gonna open it up for you. Um, and then we'll have a go at this second one. It looks like this when you open it up. So go to the document that I um, that we've put on the school website and that will have the link for you. Okay, so you're going to want this one here, which is level two, learn the six keys above the home row. So you're gonna press that button. Okay, and we're going to have a go at this one here. Let's keep going. Hello, hippos. I'm your dainty type dance person. Come into the tent. I'm sure you'll all really enjoy this. Follow Dainty's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the apples on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. Okay, so again, we're just doing the same thing. It's just a similar activity, but we've got more letters. And mind the rug. Cleopatra hands ready. Dainty fingers on the home row. Okay, so then we've got this one here. We've got... Here we go it. So again, if you look at the colours that is on the keyboard here this will tell you which thing you need to be using so for the blue ones here you need to be using your left index finger for the yellow ones you should need to be using your right index finger for these two here that are in green you should be using your middle finger and then this one here is your ring finger then pinky is over here and it's the same for here this side as well this is your middle finger for your e and your d your s should be your ring finger and your a should also be your pinky okay so you need to make sure your fingers are in the right spaces so so when you're ready, I want you to have a little bit of a go at these activities here. So that is the first one. You've also got the second one here. Okay. Hi there, dudes. Make the gang. We do the type like you. Follow Tom's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the crushed cans on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. Okay. So again, you're just going to work through this one. Easy to choices. Look cool. at the colours to tell you where to put your hands. hands. Let's get them back on the home row. Remember the old letters? Now, don't let them get you down. So again, we're just doing the same thing. We're just warming up first. Oh dear. As you go through it will start to introduce you to different letters okay so, so then it will start showing you so this is now introducing us to the t 
Okay. So I want you to work through now. You've got a uh, level two that you need to be working through. So if you pause this video and now have a go at level two um, of the keyboard um, dancing, dancing typing, sorry. Okay, so have a go at this one. Okay, now you've had a go at level two. There is the third level we can move on to. So this third level is the six keys below the home row. So we've done the row above, and now we're going to do the row below. Stage seven is the B and the N. So if you look at where they are in the on the keyboard, then you've got the B and the N, and then the C and the comma. So we're going to have a go at this one now. So if I just change it so that we can see the game. Okay, so this is the activity you're going to do, your last activity for this lesson. So you're going to scroll down to this one, which is level three. And we're going to do this one here. So you can start with number seven, and then you can go all the way down like before. Morning, typers. Or maybe it's afternoon. I'm Massimo. Welcome to my mountain top. Follow Massimo's instructions to learn the moves you'll need for typing. Look at the cowbells on the bottom bar to see how far through you are. Time for a warm up. Let's get those fingers moving. So it's going to start again the same. It's going to give you a little bit of a warm up and then it's going to move on to the activity and the new letters you'll be learning to do. Um, so I'll just try and get past this first one. It's half the time when you feel like people are watching you. Isn't it? Right, so then you can Remember see what you've learned we're moving on so to the far. lesson. With your hoofs on the home row, Things find home the row. P and Q with your little fingers. So your pinky fingers, okay? So your little fingers are going to be doing the Q and the P. So you can see again, it's color coded. So all the ones that are in blue here are your left index finger. These ones are your middle finger. These dark blue ones here are your index, your ring finger. And then we've got our pinky finger here, okay? So you can see the different ones. So I'm going to leave you now to finish off this lesson. So you've got these three activities to do. When you're done, you can send me the document um, with all the links on if you just write at the bottom how you found it, which bits you found easy, which bits you found, bits you found hard, and then you can send it through to my email address, okay? Thank you very much. Have a, Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.